Hi, all my lovelies. How's everybody doing today? Today is Sunday, December 27th. I know I said I'd come up, uh, come at you with an update yesterday, but oh my gosh, I got sick. I have sinus infection slash cold. My kids have it. What a mess. So you get to see the not so nice looking part of me. I mean, my grays are growing in. This is a good sign, guys. Grays growing in, that's a good sign. Because look, you see a little bit of bald spot right there. That's a good sign. I know that it's growing in. And then this is all the hair I have left out of all my thick hair that I used to have. So um, I see it kind of growing back in. I see little flurries. So I just can't wait. I mean, see, look at this. I just can't wait for it to gr actually grow back in and be thick again like it used to be. So I'm not doing a professional video today like I normally do. Um, I'm, like I said, I am feeling so sick. I've been so sick since the, yeah, since yesterday. It hit me really hard yesterday and today. So I'm going to get into stats and then we're going to talk about something that's been on my mind. Uh, starting weight. Uh, at the beginning was 220. Now, my highest weight was 245, so, but I was able to lose 15 pounds on my own, um, and I was at 220 for a good 10 years without losing any weight. I fluctuated a couple pounds here and there, but stayed at a good 220. Pre-op weight, I lost 12 pounds on my pre-op weight, um, so my surgery day was 208, and then what? Yes, and then, sorry, that was my son. And then, let's see, the first month I lost 10 pounds, the second month I lost 7 pounds, the third month I lost 7 pounds. My average right now is 7 pound loss a month. When I looked at that, because, here, let me show you. I was, I'm doing this. So it shows me how many pounds I've lost for that month. So, when I, uh, when I look at this, I'm going... Uh, wow, I thought I was sl slow, a slower loser. I mean, seven pounds a month is actually pretty good, pretty amazing to me. And when you put it like that, you'll see the progress you're doing. And I suggest that you guys doing that. So, you know, the first month I started at 208 and then by the end of the month, I was at 188. I lost 10 pounds that whole month. So it turned out really good. Hey, Katie, can you turn that down just for a little bit, please? So, and then I look at which week on, I weigh myself every week. So, here's my we weekly weigh-in that I write down every week. So, we are at, I guess, week 25. Um, so, last week I came to you at 156. I did lose a pound to 155, and then the holidays came, and then I'm back up to 157. So, I gained a couple of pounds, but you know what? I'm comfortable. I am so comfortable that I don't, I'm not going to sweat it. I know that I'm going to be able to get back up on my, on my feet and uh, get back to where, um, where I want to go, which is between 135 and 145. Um, my waist was at 48 inches, is down to 36 inches. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I did lose 6 inches in my breast. I've lost, I would say, two and a half inches in my chest up here. Um, my arms are staying the same because of the skin, so I really can't measure my arms so much. Um, my neck went from 15 inches down to 13 and a half, so I lost two and a half uh, inches there. And um, my goal before July of next year is to be at 135 to 145. So that's my maintaining weight that I want to be for the rest of my life is to have that playroom. Like, let's just say I gain five pounds and I'm at 135. And I, if I get to 140, heck, I don't mind. I want to give myself the 10 pound uh, grow or not grow, but gaining weight and losing weight. And I want to give myself that um, weight range. So, um, that's my goal is to get to 135, 145 and just stay there for the rest of my life. So I can't wait to get there. I am officially in a size 10 jean. I started at 16, 18 and I'm down to size 10. So officially lost six pants sizes. I tried on some size 10s and they fit perfect. In fact, one size 
size 10, I was able to stick, you know, three fingers, three fingers like this in down in my pants. Oh my God, that sounds horrible. Sorry. Dirty mind. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about something serious. Um, was weight loss surgery worth it? And to me, when you have hair loss and skin drooping and losing your breasts and your hormones changing and all those, I would say, negative side effects to where you get sick or dumping syndrome like I have. And to me, that's worth it. I have recently heard too many people saying, oh my God, I'm worried about losing my hair. That's the reason why I haven't done the surgery. And I'm going, what? You're not doing a life-changing event to make you feel better because of hair loss? Well, look at this. This is worth it to me. I feel so much better. I feel almost a hundred, well, except for my cold sickness right now, but I feel almost a hundred times better, guys. I have more energy. I am uh, more confident. I'm not taking pills, uh, you know, old medication. I'm not taking any of that anymore. The only things I take is vitamins. And I haven't taken any medication unless I have a massive migraine and then I take some Tylenol. But other than that, I don't take any medication. Um, I do have to dye my hair though because of my age. But, but other than that, you know, the hair loss is worth it. Do not not get the surgery just because you're worried about hair loss. Yes, it may happen. Some people are lucky and it doesn't happen to them. You keep in the biotin, you get in nioxin, you get in, what is it, keratin? I can't remember the other one. You get in your protein. All those things will help gain the regrowth back. And after six to eight months, it starts growing back. So it between the loose skin and hair loss and some side effects that I have, worth it to me. It is so worth it to me. And I would, I would like to think that and believe that it should be worth it for anybody that gets the surgery. It is a life-changing and life-altering event that none of that should matter. Your health should be more important than this. Okay? Your health should be more important than this. And yes, I'm depressed about my hair. Don't get me wrong. I hate it. I, sometimes I cry. I put wigs on almost every day. When I'm home, I don't bother. And when I'm doing this video, obviously I don't bother. Especially when I'm sick. But I go out with a wig every day. And I've got all sorts of different kinds of wigs. So I, if I want to change my hairstyle. But I'm telling you right now, guys. Look at this. Non-scale victory right there. <laughs> it is worth it. This surgery is worth it. Hold on. <coughs> I'm, I'm not editing this video, so I'm sorry. <coughs> In advance for coughing on you guys. I'm getting myself all worked up. It's making me cough. So, um, if you are looking into getting the surgery, please don't let the hair loss stop you. Don't let the saggy skin or saggy boobs stop you. Because it is worth it in the end to know your lifestyle changed has saved your life. And this lifestyle change for me, I know it's saving my life. And if I kept on going and going to, from where I was, I would have gone down on a huge, I was already headed down, spiral downhill, man. And don't let it stop you guys. It is worth it. Uh, yeah, there is dumping syndrome, but I've gotten through it and I'm fine now, but it's all a learning process. I've learned what I can and cannot eat because at this point I can pretty put pretty much put anything in my body, just little portions. I can't eat more than two ounces without getting full. So I still have great restrictions. Sometimes I can get three to four ounces, but that's very rare. But 
I'm telling you guys, please, please don't let anything stop you. Don't let people's comments stop you. If they say, oh, it's the easy way out, don't let that stop you. It's worth it. If they say, uh, if they say, um, um, oh, if you can lose the weight on your own, uh, if you can lose your weight now, you can lose your weight on your own, you don't need the surgery, and they're not supportive, don't let that stop you. It is worth it. I am now a huge promoter for weight loss surgery. If you feel like you need it and you have done everything you possibly can, every diet on the face of the earth, and you cannot lose weight, I support you. I support that. I get it. I get that there are rude and ignorant comments out there saying, oh, you know, that's, that's a, the worst way out. I could do it on my own. I, those are unsupportive comments. Those are things that I choose to ignore and do what's right for me and do what's best for me. And I support you. If you decide to get this surgery and you haven't gotten it yet, don't let any of these things stop you. Do it for you, not for anybody else. And get some wigs. <laughs> get some wigs. I get my wigs from HairSisters.com. They are cheaper for synthetic wigs. They're a little bit more pricey aside for real hair so you can curl it if you want. But the wigs are amazing. I get compliments all the time on how beautiful my hair is. And I'm like, oh, yeah. It takes forever to do this style. <laughs> I play along. They're like, oh my God, your hair is so beautiful. I bet you, you should be a hairdresser. I heard one time, I'm like, yeah, it just takes so long for this. I don't think I could be a hairdresser. I get impatient. They're like, oh no, you should. And I'm like, if you only could see what's underneath. Anyway, I just have fun with that. This video is going on too long. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did give this video a thumbs up, we will see you. Oh my gosh, four, six months surge anniversary, guys. Six months. OMG. I hope by six months I am down closer to 150 because I'm at, well, I was 157, but you know, blah, blah, holidays. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. And thank you, everybody, for all the shout outs, for all the comments, for all the love. Love you. Ciao. Bye.